Good morning, everyone. We are so excited because on today in Style Lab, we have an OG, a fabulous, the one and only Kelly, who has been shopping with us for years. She is beyond beautiful, beyond stylish, and beyond everything we want to be. So we wanted to introduce you all to her and talk about her style and everything she loves. So buckle up, sit down, get your tea. We're about to have the best time on Style Lab. Hi, everyone. This is Kelly. Meet Kelly, the most beautiful, wonderful shopper we have right now. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're so excited to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. Okay. I'm so, so excited. I've been talking about clothes and fashion all day long. <laughs> Honey, we love to hear it. This is wonderful. Awesome. Okay, so I guess we'll start out strong. Like, what do you do? How long have you been shopping here? Kind of give us a little bio background. On oh, yourself. Awesome. Great. Thank you for that. So I am, my name is Kelly Duga. Born and raised in Caracol, Louisiana. I still live there today. I'm married and I have a little, a big dog. His name is Smoke. He's 90 something pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> What's his name? Smoke. Oh my God. My dad's <laughs> name is Smokey. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, a lot of people, like, and he goes to the daycare at Lafayette Bits and they call uh -huh. him Smokey all the time. Oh it's my so gosh. Fun. I love that. I, I love him so much. Oh my God. And he's my little heart. Oh my God. <laughs> Not little. He's 93 pounds. You know, and that's okay. We're dog people over here. We love that. I know. That's, that's one of the things I love about like, coming shopping here. Literally. I know everybody has dogs. This, I feel like when I come in, it's like family and friends. You know, everybody's always like, Kelly, hey. Well, we're they, so excited to see you. You're the best. You're why? Thank you so much. They even leave me little notes when I order stuff online. They'll put a little note, a little post-it note over there and say, Queen Kelly or something <laughs> cute. It's so <laughs> much fun. So true. So but true. I have been shopping with the more since you guys opened. Like when Victoria was still like working here every day. Mm -hmm. So I even remember the first outfit I bought from Amore. Oh and my I still gosh. love it. I actually probably Wait, just got is, rid of do it. Do you remember like what was it? Yes. Like, like it what was kinda... some it was some blue little silk. I think they were Steve Madden mm -hmm. little shorts. And they they tied at the waist and then it was a it had, I just actually got rid of this blouse because I loved it so much. Uh -huh. It was BB Dakota uh -huh. and it was blues and purples and it had like an animal print. Girl, I thought I was the stuff. <laughs> you can tell me nothing. Nothing. I'm wearing okay. this. I'm going to look yes. fabulous. Yes. I loved it. Oh, <laughs> my God. See, and I love those pieces that you don't want to let go of, but you're like, obviously, the trends have changed. I've right. around this. My style's a little different. Right. But, like, the fact that you held on to that for so long. I, I did. love that. I did. I loved it so much. Oh I think God. about it all the time. You know, I was shopping in another boutique mm -hmm. before I started shopping at Amore. And I feel like as I've moved from boutique to boutique to boutique, because I love local shopping, my style's been elevated. And I will certainly say that Amore was one of those stores to help elevate my style. Oh my so, gosh, I, I that's the it. biggest compliment <laughs> I think we've ever heard. Oh my oh, God. You're, you're welcome, you're welcome. Oh my God, thank and, yeah. you. Yeah, oh no, of course. I, I appreciate what you guys have done to help elevate my style, so thank you for that, for sure. Well, thank Kelly. you for that. You're the best. Wow. Vic, maybe everyone, are y'all hearing this? This is so good. Oh my gosh. But anyway, it's I, I love it. So I I work a job at home now, uh -huh. work from home. So, you know, that's what I do and I love it. I work for Cox, a big telecom company, and I just love it, honestly. They're so good to me. So how do you balance, I guess, your work life fabulousness? And dealing with smoke and your husband like how do, you, how do you do it all you know you have to be organized and mm -hmm. start your day early which yes. I'm not people say are you a morning or a night person I'm like I'm neither I like to sleep in the I day. love, I but, love um, my sleep. Yeah. <laughs> me too but you know you have to get up kind of start your day early get organized it mm -hmm. certainly helps when you work for people that are understanding mm -hmm. and I've been with the company for a long time mm -hmm. so I have a lot of uh, PTO that I can uh, use to take the vacations that I like and do those things that I like it's really not that difficult if you just organize yourself, yeah. start your day kind of early. Mm -hmm. And I'm absolutely a routine person. I really? have a morning routine and a nighttime routine. I like routines. Okay, well, um, I need you to help me on that. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that later. Then. Okay, oh all right, we'll do that later. Okay, <laughs> so then let's jump into travel. You love to travel. I do, I absolutely love to travel. Okay, so 100%. where is your favorite place to go? So the, oh my, the favorite place, okay, I will say my favorite place to go that mm -hmm. I can go regularly mm -hmm. is the San Francisco area, but to Napa, mm -hmm. to uh, Carmel, yes. all of those places. Yes. So I've, I've been there already three times. Yes. To, I went to San Francisco the first time, mm -hmm. went to Napa one day and fell in love with it. We hadn't even planned to go to Napa. You're like, I'm not leaving. I was like, I'm not leaving. No, girl. I'm not, <laughs> you don't. Well, what's so funny was we didn't. My husband wasn't even into wine at that point. He really? got into wine afterwards. So we went, we traveled, 
he started drinking wine and he was like, oh my God, I love it. But it's but just such an experience it while you're is. there. It is a great experience. And like, it's beautiful and everyone's so friendly and you're drinking her, you're not gonna love no. it. No, <laughs> but then we realized, oh, I didn't think I was gonna be drinking and I'm driving, so I've gotta stop drinking. Yeah. So like, we went again uh, last December for our wedding anniversary yeah. and we hired drivers for us. And then you just fled. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I wanna go back again, but I'm like, there's so many other beautiful places to go. I can't keep going back to California. I don't know. I think you can. Okay, I, I, I support. All right. Well, then I support this. Support this. And you know what? After I have this baby, if y'all need another friend, I'll even drive you. <laughs> I don't know. Like I would love to go. I love Napa. Me I'm too. Such a fan. Me too. I'm such a fan. Oh okay. So, and if some place that you can't go regularly, but a place you love, Italy. <gasps> yes. It was my first. A t besides Mexico, I mean, you know, it yeah. was my first like European, like big girl travel. Is yeah. what I called it. Mm -hmm. I remember we were at dinner one night, and there was an elderly couple, you know, sitting down. And we were having dinner and we just started talking to them and they're like, well, have you guys traveled much? And we're like, oh yeah, we've been to Mexico and all this. And then we're like, this is our first time in Europe. And she was like, well, you haven't traveled, my dear. I was like, well, excuse me. I thought I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm married. So, okay. Well, that is, but anyway, I yeah. loved Italy. We went to Venice. I mean, mm -hmm. every place is just so different and so wonderful and just, oh my God, I fell in love with it. We, we did Venice, and then we went to Tuscany, and then we did Amalfi Coast, which was my favorite. Yes. Because it was mountains and water and all of the things that I love. And it's, then we ended in Rome. It's just, it like, beautiful. insane. It's insane. It's a different world every time I say Like, whenever, okay, I went to Florence, and I was like, Daniel, I'm not leaving. I hear We're you. not leaving. Like, can we just stay? Like, and there's just everything. I don't know. The artists, like, on the streets. I don't know. The it's, people. Uh, it's everyone. Just a, and everybody has such a great, relaxed attitude. Oh, my gosh. I know. Yeah, America. America. Right. What do you mean but you're, you're, I just found out you're not from the States. You're Australian. Is, am I correct? Well, my husband's Australian. Okay. Okay. And I lived in Australia for oh, what felt like a thousand years. Okay. Wow. Okay. And so like we lived, we worked there. We were, you know, we, I was, I lived in Sydney first and then I lived in like the Outback for oh, a wow. second. Okay. So I feel like I experienced like a little bit of everything in yeah. Australia. So, uh, no, but I was born here in Louisiana. Okay, all right. Yeah, but my okay. husband's Australian. All right. But well, now good. my kids are both. Yes. Dual citizenship. Yes. Awesome. That's so fantastic. That is, that's very cool, I feel like. That's like what they can say on their talent show, you know? Okay. Well, I'll put Australia on my list <laughs> yeah. and make sure to talk to you before I go. You need to go. Okay, ignore the flight time. That is a little intimidating. <laughs> okay. I know. But like once you just like maybe just take one or two sleeping pills, just you <laughs> one know, or two, <laughs> one or two, maybe ten. I don't know. And then just like get a movie, have yes. some drinks, and then you're good. Right. Yeah. But you have to get a mindset. Yes. Because the first time I was so freaked out, I was like, Yes, you got to have that mindset. Yeah, I get it. One hundred percent. So, but it's a, you need to put it on your list. I absolutely will. Okay. Absolutely will. Okay. So if you had one brand out of more that you love the most, what do you think it would be? Like oh, if God. you had to pick a brand. That's going to be difficult, but I will say, I'm, I'm going to think about the things that I probably wear most often, mm -hmm. not the fabulous pieces, Yeah, but probably like Mother Jeans. Oh my gosh. Love them. They're Love just them. so good. Love them. Yeah. And then Nation, anything Nation. They're a good throw and go. I have the, uh, I love the silkiness of them. Yes. I have the black one. I have the white one. I have a green one. Uh, uh. I love them. <laughs> They're perfect. You want to go somewhere, yes. you throw on a pair of mother jeans. You throw on this top. You do some cute sneakers. Any of the sneakers that you guys have here now, as a matter of fact, a good bag, mm -hmm. some big hoops, and you're a good lip, and off you go. I you're speaking our language. Oh. Like, we love it. Yeah, it's perfect. And yes. you still look put together. Yes. But it didn't take you a long time to kind of get it together. Yes. yes. See, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, of course we love having like a moment where you're like, have all the of course. And you have of course. A, but like, honestly, most of the people shopping here, they're like, we want to look cute. We want to, we have to do it in 30 minutes. Right. Let's put together an outfit. And you just describe like our girl. Exactly. That's it. Yep. Throw in your hoops, honey. Yep. Go. And go. Throw and go, honey. <laughs> That's what most of our lives are. Yes. You know. Truly. Course. You know, truly. Yes. Okay, and then so if you had a style icon, do you know who that would be? So I was thinking about that and I thought, I really don't. And let me tell you why I don't. Because I feel like I get my inspiration from people every day. Mm -hmm. And from a lot of different people on TikTok, on Instagram, 
I see people and I'm just like influenced by what they have. Yeah. I mean, I do love like Jennifer Lopez's style, Jennifer Anderson's style, but I look at more of their styling. Yes. But like the other day, Anna Cat, who used to work here, mm -hmm. she posted a picture and she had an entire denim outfit on. And she had a that. denim Western shirt and this big, beautiful denim belt. And I was like, yes. yes I'm told now, it's not going to be the same, obviously, because this girl is way younger than me and a whole lot thinner. Oh my but gosh. she's an inspiration. So yes. it's going to inspire me yes. to be able to, you know, uh, wear an outfit similar to that. My niece the other day, she was in New Orleans for an anniversary, the first year anniversary, so it's not far. She had on a beautiful pair of trousers. Mm -hmm. She had on a white blouse. Her hair was really down long, and she had on a baseball cap and some sneakers. She looked fabulous, oh, and I thought, gosh. I'm totally copying this. Please. And putting my own spin on it. Mm -hmm. You know? I love so, that, though. Those There's... are the those are the kinds of things that inspire me. But honestly, it kind of makes more sense when people like you know, yes. I have on an outfit and you're like, oh wait, I can do this, right. I can tweak this. Like, right. I totally get what you're saying. Right. But Jennifer Lopez in the hoop, so honey, every time well, I see it, I'm like, let's go. And, and I'm a hoop girl. <laughs> I mean, I had some small holes on today, but yeah. I love a big hoop. I mean, it makes me inspired. I'm like, wow, I feel like you could do anything in a hoop. <laughs> oh, I agree. There's a designer, her name is Melinda Marie. Uh huh. And she, the name of her hoops, can I curse or can I not curse? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Her hoops are, it's not a bad word. Yeah. But she calls them big ass hoops. Oh, well, that's perfect. And I have them. And they're you beautiful. Love them. I love them. Oh yes, I love them. So, can we put a picture of that in there? Yeah. <laughs> She'll put a little clip of the big ass hoops. Okay. <laughs> they're fabulous. I love them. I love them. So, and you put them on with that nation t shirt, that nation little, you know, mm -hmm. throw and go blouse here from Amore, some mother denim, yeah. and you're good to go. Do you feel like accessories almost make the outfit? So this is what I say. People ask me all the time about style and, you know, oh, they have this beautiful dress on or something gorgeous. But if you don't know how to style it, mm -hmm. honey, no. Yeah. So it's to me, it's all about styling. So yeah. the accessories are a huge part of that. Yes. People will get this beautiful dress, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is gorgeous. Yeah. And then I see somebody with it on, and I'm like, oh. Because the styling is wrong. <laughs> You know, you've got to yes. style it. It's about the hair, the makeup, the shoes, the earrings, the accessories. It's the whole situation. It's exactly. the whole package. You can get an outfit from Walmart and style it beautifully, or you can get an outfit from, you know, Gucci and it be styled horribly. 100. It's about styling. You preach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, wait, can we talk about your outfit and how you really, like, have been here from the beginning? And oh, sure. Some, like, let's talk about how cute you look. Oh, you're and, so like, sweet. Y'all, like, we, like, she came here in this entire outfit, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you look so, so sweet. good. You're so sweet. Thank you. So, <clears throat> Chocolate Brown's having a moment, so I decided I was going to, you know, be here for the Chocolate Brown. But this outfit is all Amour from head to toe. It's some new Amour, some older Amour. So um, D. Keller mm -hmm. used to make shoes, and they carried the brand here, and I love the brand. They were awesome. Oh my God! And D. So Keller, you were great, honey. So comfortable. D. I, know. I mean, I don't know, but can you come back? Can you? Can come you back. If you want to make a comeback, we would really yes. support it. We would right. love it. We so would love that. <laughs> I, I, and they're so the shoes are classic, and yeah. they don't go out of style. No. And I, so I have these beautiful little suede boots on but from D. Keller. I love them. Perfect. I love that color, And they're too. so comfortable, oh right? Oh, my gosh. They're great. And then these are some faux leather pants that I got at the beginning of the season from here from here at Amore. And then this, another brand that I really love that I didn't say was Rails. I love Rails brand. Oh, my gosh. And so I got this last year. I think it was. Yeah. I'm not sure when. But I think it was last year. And it's just a little, I love the material. It's, it's so beautiful. soft and it's rails. And it's a, it's a brand you guys yes, carry here. So yeah. It's just not, uh, you know, maybe not in store right now, but I just love this. It, but rails is just, they're another great piece I to have in your closet because the material's good. The right. cuts are great. It's just like, you right. just look so put together. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I no, appreciate you, that. You thank really you so did. much. So that's right. I, when you walk in, I was like, oh my God, I, you're not changing? Well, I wanted to intentionally wear a yeah. more. I was like, hey, you know, I want to wear it. And it's not hard for me to do that because yeah. there's a lot of them more in my closet. Yeah. I <laughs> love that. I love to hear it. Oh Absolutely. my gosh. Yeah. So, yes, I love it. Thank you. Oh, you're I appreciate so that. Oh my gosh, of course. Okay, Kelly. And this is my last question I'll give you. Okay. How do you stay so fabulous and you're so, so confident? You're so sweet. Um, you know, I think it definitely helps as you get older. Um, I, w I will say my confidence has built up since built up since then. Mm -hmm. You know, you just gotta find the things that you like, yeah, and the things that you love, and the thing that things that make you feel good. Yeah, and you have to embrace that. Yes, and you, every day you have to at least look in the mirror to try to find one thing that you you know love about yourself. 
I mean, I know it sounds cliche, yeah. but um, it's really true. And you have to be happy on the inside with who you are and surround yourself with people that really cheer you along and that really support you and love you and help you. And I love, I'm a girl's girl. I am not no man girl, honey. I love a girl. I mean, and so I will say my group of friends, 100% are people that in my family, my sisters, I'm a, come from a large family, they support me and love me, my nieces. They build me up, they make me feel good, they support me. Yeah. And so I think a lot of it is that, that you just have to surround yourself with these great women in your life. And I was raised by a great woman and have a lot of great women in my family and they really just support and push me and love me as I do with them. And I think that's just how you stay that way. And I've always loved fashion and clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's something that's just kind of come naturally to me that I just loved clothes and loved wearing different things. And my entire family's like that. I mean, we go somewhere and we're dressed. Everyone is gonna yes. be looking. And so in. I say fabulous because I got to. I gotta <laughs> keep up with them young kids. <laughs> Surround yourself with some good, strong women yeah. who love you and support you in everything you do, from your outfit to your career to your job, honey, to the little dry spaghetti you baked, whatever it is. They I mean, love you no matter what. Say it louder for the people <laughs> in the back. Oh, yes. my God, Gail, you could, like, that is probably the best advice. Like, I resonate that. I am a girl's girl, too. I love my girl. Like, when they're wearing something, I'm like, yes, honey, I'm going to tell you, and I'm right. going to tell you twice on Sunday. You and, you know? know, you're right. And even, like, I'll, you know, just give a little shout-out to more here. And there's obviously other places I go that do that as well. But I would not come to this store if people were not kind to me. Yeah. And people were not, oh, yeah, this looks great. And I've been shopping here enough now that the girls know what I like. Yes. You know, so they will pull things that I like and mm -hmm. love. So... But that is another example. If I come out, they're not like, eh. You know, they're honest with me. They mm -hmm. tell me what looks good on me and what doesn't. Yes. And that's what I like. And that's part of being fabulous. Mm -hmm. And that's a great example of women uh, lifting you up mm -hmm. and making you feel good about yourself. So yeah. I'm not just trying to sell you anything, but sell you something that really looks good on you. Yeah, like so. There you go. Like literally, I'm like holding back my pregnancy tears. Oh, right like, you're so sweet. No, this is like that. That is like the truest, kindest, nicest. Like you have said so many nice things about him. Oh, it's true. And we cannot say how much we love you enough. Oh. So I'm saying it from the entire More Girl family. I'm giving you a big hug. Thank you so oh, much for welcome. doing this. Oh. Like we could not appreciate it more, and we love you, and we're so happy that you're one of our favorite customers. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> I had a fabulous time doing this. Oh my god. And yes. you're you are such a breath of fresh air. Oh my. It's funny just and cuckoo. Yeah, just I love it. I love it. You're my kind of girl. <laughs> yes, Kelly, you call me. Five months. We're gonna have a drink, honey. All right, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see you on next episode of Style Lab.